Dave Shinsky of Baseball Rebellion here. Uh, this week's breakdown, I'm going to do Warren Spawn. Uh, I'm going to start with him out of his windup. Um, just a little note is uh, I'm going to talk a little bit about his character also and, and what I think uh, made him so great, uh, not just his smooth mechanics. Okay, so uh, he was a guy that is definitely touted the best you know, left-handed pitcher of all time. Um, he's got, you know, 363 wins. Um, he's got 13 seasons where he won 20 games or more. Um, 63 shutouts. Um, two no-hitters. And, and, and both of those came at weird ages of 30 and, and 39 and 40 where he was, uh, you know, a little bit older. So... I believe that as he got older, um, he he just got better, and he he just knew his body and how he can get hitters out by just you know creating deception by um, <clears throat> by his constant ability to repeat his 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 mechanics. So um, you know, moving through this breakdown, uh, I want to talk about the baseball rebellion aspect of how we teach also, and and, and it's and it's pretty similar to this. Um, um, especially with how he creates momentum and stays through his finish. Okay, so uh, the first move and the last move is what we talk about a lot, and in between we kind of just roll into and, and try to make it as natural as we can. And I think that's what what his ability got him, and especially the ability to throw many different pitches the same way. Okay, so he's a guy that um, comes up really, really high in his leg kick. Um, almost to his chest, to his numbers, but he kind of uh, goes into it with you know his chest staying tall um, over his over his over his belt. So if you're thinking about where his knee is, it's it's probably uh, even with his front shoulder here. All right, so his knee and his front shoulder are are kind of coming together. But at this point, um, he starts to kick out. So you see a lot of the big, big leaguers these days, and they have these leg kicks, but they instantly go directly back down to the ground, okay? So um, there's no reason to even, you know, pick your leg up that high if you're just going to go straight back down to the ground. What, what uh, Warren Spahn does great is he starts to move his momentum of his back knee and ankle, uh, allowing his hips to shift forward, all right, and creating his pelvic... Uh, pelvic thrust down the mound but opens up the or sorry gets his leg straight and starts to open up this front leg like a gate so um, when he's just kind of we call it here at baseball rebellion uh, the fall so trusting a fall um, if you're thinking about guys that have that big leg kick in a big league these days and they come back down um, it's more of a push so he's he's kind of driving his his back leg forward or driving his back pelvis forward and letting um, this front leg open like a gate and uh, one thing you see here is uh, his, his the ball here gets below his leg and I was watching I was looking at an interview that he had and, and he was trying to create deception by by doing this and, and keeping that ball hidden and a lot of the hitters that he faced said they they couldn't really see the ball until um, it was coming out of his hand so it almost looked like the ball was coming from his uniform and, and that's how he created deception also is is uh, you know hiding that ball and, and creating that timing uh, issue with the hitters so um, it's something that we do here at Baseball Rebellion is we, we teach this leg kick out, uh, but also it, it's not just a kick out where you're kicking your leg straight out. You have to be um, maintaining this uh, movement forward of that back leg driving down the mound, okay? Um, one thing you see here is, like I said, he's opening up his front leg. So if you're going to uh, watch his heel, um, his heel is going to start to move in this direction, okay? And as he opens up his foot, um, and don't 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 get it wrong, where he's thinking about opening up his front foot, his back hip opens up his front hip, so that's where he he, he gets a lot of his um, 
velocity from and he wasn't a guy that that threw you know very hard but he was very smooth into his throw and he got to this position um, every time so uh, velocity is is correlated to you know separation of that back shoulder and front shoulder um, and you know that's something that he did, but I think he was a guy that, you know, knew he could get guys out throwing the ball 70%, you know, 80%, saving his arm. And that's why he's able to, you know, throw 21 innings in the big leagues, uh, or 21 years, sorry, 21 years in the big leagues, um, inning after inning after inning, and just, um, you know, dominate for that long. And we teach that is you know you can't you don't just come into a lesson or a game and 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 and, and try to start throwing lights out you have to warm up you have to uh, have the ability to you know maintain your mechanics at 75 you know 80 percent before you start to go fast um, from here I want to talk about his glove too um, I think what he does here with his glove is is just is something also um, you know, with deception, just like kind of given given the hitter another thing to look at while he's uh, while he in, he's in his windup. But I think he also does it because it keeps his it keeps his upper body back. So you see his head how it just doesn't fly forward. A lot of guys that get into the pos this position, um, you know, th they'll start to fly forward because of 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 not a lot of uh, increased momentum on that back leg so he 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 keeps that back leg moving um, constantly down the hill so at foot strike he's, he's really close with his shoulder and he just is back his his spine angles back his head's back um, and uh, he's ready to he's ready to throw the ball now um, I think also that's a testament to to um, him being such a good athlete so when he wasn't uh, you know pitching he was he was a hitter, and and he was a guy that um, he was a guy that you know was probably the best hitting pitchers in the uh, in the major league history. So um, I think that's that's just telling us you know how much of an athlete he was uh, to be able to you know go up and and you know hit home runs and and change the game for himself as a, as a pitcher. Um, uh, he also was a guy that was. Took four years off when he started to play to uh, to go to the go to the war. He was in World War Two, and uh, he won the Purple Heart and and the Bronze Star. So I mean, that's uh, you don't you don't hear that you don't hear that anymore, and that's just I think a testament to what kind of guy he also was on the mound. He knew what he wanted to do, and he did it. Um, and he also did it for a long time. So we're going to keep going here. As he gets into his foot strike, he's going to start to uh, bring the ball forward. Okay, so he's a guy that I mean, I, I I always bring I always bring up quarterbacks in this situation is like how smooth can you look through the throw, right? And you, you think of a guy like Tom Brady. Um, he just in every throw he, he looks the same, um, whether it's a whether it's a you know ten yard slant. Or a 30-yard bomb or an 18-yard comeback. Um, he's he's a guy that gets into the same positions and and looks the same throughout the whole uh, movement. So it's 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 something that's really kind of um, not taught, but you can definitely learn it. So so you can think about just being nice and relaxed through the throw as he gets into foot strike. He was a guy that I think also um, mentally thought how to create his pitches over and over and over again by saying, I'm going to throw this ball uh, through the catcher or to the backstop. And I think uh, that, that really, really helps him uh, stay through the finish and, and throw every pitch like you know, like he wanted to and just look the same. So from a screwball to a four seam fastball to a curveball, um, to his he called it a slow pitch or a changeup, um, he looked the same through his finish and through that that arm angle. Um, 
a lot of guys will want to, uh, you know, hit that catcher's mitt so bad that they end up um, missing and, and bouncing it, um, leaving it high, and, and, and it ends up getting hit, or it's a, it's just a bad outcome. So um, I want to just roll through his mechanics um, just one time at at, at at the speed of of just normal speed and, and, and see I want you to see how he fluid he is as he goes through his motion. So um, it's just a testament to how how great he is um, through his through his wind up and and finish. So uh, I could watch this over and over again and it just looks like one smooth um, throw through his pitch and I, I I really enjoyed you know breaking this down and 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 just learning more about Warren Spawn and what kind of guy he was and uh, I will continue to um, read about him and uh, and more of these old-time players but um, I hope you enjoyed the breakdown uh, if you have any comments uh, comment down uh, at the bottom of the page and uh, you know, hopefully you'll be hearing from me soon. All right, thanks a lot. Bye.